Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Priestess Talk. I am Priestess Akelta, and today we are going to continue our shadow work series. Today, we are going to start exploring the different types of shadows that can come up. Today, we are going to focus on trauma shadows, painful shadows, and repressed shadows. So in our last video, we talked about different ways to awaken the shadow journey and different ways to go inside yourself and begin shadow work. Today, we're going to talk about different shadows that you might uncover. The three shadows that we're going to cover today are trauma shadows, pain shadows, and repressed shadows. So let's dive right in. So when doing shadow work, as I said in the last video, it is painful. It can be, it might actually be one of the most painful things that you ever do is going inside and accepting different aspects of yourself, accepting sides of yourself, accepting memories and experiences that happened which really damaged you. So these are the shadows which when you uncover them, they hurt. They hurt a lot and it's because Oftentimes, there's a lot of repressed emotions around them, there's a lot of repressed memories around them, and there's a lot of pain. When you uncover a trauma shadow, it means that something has happened to you. Something has happened to you which has traumatized you. Something has happened to you which has altered your energy. It has left a scar on your energy. Trauma is something where something horrific happens to you. It could be abuse. It could be bullying. It could be somebody in your life not accepting you. It is a time in your life where you were basically denied who you were and in some cases punished for who you are. Punished or abused or you were just at the mercy of somebody else who wanted to take advantage of you, who saw you as somebody weak and wanted to hurt you. These create scars in our aura and they create scars in our energy. This is why trauma lingers as we heal and go through life, even though the trauma was many years ago, that trauma can actually stay in our energies. It can stay in our body and it can, and it can alter our actions, it can alter our personality, and it can change the course of our life. There's a lot of people who, when they've done shadow work and deep trauma healing, they've actually healed these traumas and they've been able to change the entire course of their life because that trauma, that shadow, was keeping them locked in a prison. It was keeping them locked in this energy space where their energies were experiencing the repercussions of that trauma over and over and over again. So when you start doing shadow work, you are going to uncover moments in your life where you were traumatized. You are going to uncover moments in your life where something happened to you and a lot of pain was forced upon you. You experienced horrific moments when these shadows come up, the best thing to do is to observe them. You want to give them their space. You want to allow them to speak. No matter what they're saying, no matter what they are telling you, let them speak. This is interesting because um, I know a lot of people, when somebody who's had a traumatic experience talks, a lot of people immediately jump to, oh, well, you know, it's not like this. They, they jump to offer an opinion on that. They don't. Don't offer an opinion when somebody is releasing their trauma. Let them release that trauma. Give them that space to talk because that trauma, when the, that shadow is triggered, they've gone back to that moment. They have gone back to that moment where the trauma happened. That is a perfectly natural response. That is what happens when you experience trauma. You go back to the moment where the trauma happened. And now you have to speak that. That trauma needs to be heard. Your emotions need to be heard. Your pain needs to be heard. You need to be heard. Healing can only happen when you're hurt. If you keep trying to shut that down or you're told you're wrong or you're told you can't actually, you know, speak. You're not supposed to feel this way or, you know, it happened so long ago. Get over it. That's more repression. That is more pushing the shadows back into the subconscious because you're being told they're wrong. And this, this is why a lot of people who, when they start to talk about their trauma, they get angry. They get angry because so many people have told them, well, get over it or, you know, don't, you can't feel this way. You can't feel that way. That's not true. Your perception of it is wrong. Da, da, da. No, 
This is trauma. This is exactly what trauma is. Trauma is pain. Trauma is something horrific and unjust that happened to you. And at the time it happened, it was horrible. And that has not healed. So when that shadow comes up, speak. S let that shadow speak and let it say whatever it wants to say. Let it say whatever it wants to say. Let it get those emotions out. Don't judge them. Don't argue with them. Don't think that you're wrong. That's the biggest thing with this, with these types of shadows. Do not think that you are wrong. Observe the shadows and just let them speak. They need to be heard. They need that moment where they are just heard, where everything that happened to them comes out. All those emotions, all that pain comes out. Let it come out. Let the shadow come out and just observe it. Observe it and let it speak. Once it's had its moment, you can start talking to it. You can start talking to yourself. Now, at this point, once the shadow has spoken, you don't want, you want to be gentle. You want to be gentle with yourself. You really want to be gentle with where you are and have empathy for where that shadow came from, especially having empathy with yourself. And when I say be gentle with yourself, the reason that, that shadow was repressed in the first place was because of beliefs that were imposed upon you from other people that that shadow was wrong. If those beliefs weren't imposed upon you, you would have already dealt with that shadow. But because those beliefs are there, that shadow was repressed. So that's the side of your mind that might come out, is the side that represents the voices that originally repressed that shadow. So when that happens, you want to, no, those voices, go away. And you want to be with yourself. You want to just be gentle with yourself. And you want to say, you know what? There's a lot of pain here. And there's a lot of pain here for a reason. And I need to understand this pain. I need to understand what's going on inside of me. So then you want to talk to that, the pain. You want to talk to the shadow. You want to understand it. You want to understand its perspective. The only way that healing is going to happen with, between you and the shadow is if you both understand each other. If the shadow feels understood and if you understand where the shadow is coming from. So this is a very interesting element of shadow work is where you actually go through a process where you and the shadow start to start to understand each other. This is where the energies will open up between you. You'll start to feel the shadow. You'll start to understand it. You'll start to understand your connection to that shadow and you will eventually become that shadow. Now in, in situations where like something happened to you as a child, you are going to be dealing with the perspective of a child. You are going to be dealing with you as a child. So this this is where the healing can come in with the shadows is you're a child back here where the pain happened, you're an adult now. So as you two start to understand each other, you as the adult steps in and goes, no, that was really wrong. That was wrong what happened to me. And then you can act as the defender for the inner child. And then the inner child feels safe. So you get that safety that's inside of you. You feel safe. And then you can unify with the inner child, the shadow unifies, and you take your power back from that situation. Because in a, as an adult, you can stand up and go, no, this was wrong. This was incredibly wrong what happened. This was horrific what happened. And I don't like how I was treated. I hate this. I hate what was done to me. And I feel those emotions. I feel that hatred. I feel the pain. I feel what was done to me and I honor that. So then you're able to take your power back and you're able to say, no, that was wrong what happened to me back then. That was wrong. I'm going to stand in my power. I'm going to stand in my strength and I'm never going to allow anybody to treat me like that again. This is part of the healing journey with the shadows and that's why you want to let them speak. That's why you want to let them say what they need to say as you're doing that you are starting to align with them and your energies are mixing you are accepting that shadow you are accepting that shadow's emotions so you're no longer broken from that shadow you both stand united and that is where power of the self comes from because with the shadows they're broken off. They're broken fragments of our being within the subconscious mind. And when we are able to unify those fragments, when we're able to pull ourselves together, we're able to move forward. It's where you awaken who you are. 
your voice, your strength, your warrior spirit, you awaken that. You say, no, this was incredibly wrong that was done to me. This is horrific. This is absolutely horrific that was done to me. And I will not stand for this. I'm not going to stand by and I'm not going to allow these energies to continue treating me like this. I'm going to change this. I'm going to change my destiny. I'm going to change the course of my life. And I am going to heal this. Healing healing comes in many different stages. There's many different elements of healing. Healing can be taking action, it can be setting a boundary. It can be saying, no, I don't want this, this is wrong. It can be feeling and honoring your emotions and just crying them out, just crying them. It can be you comforting your inner child. It can be you giving yourself the love that was denied you in the past. There's so many powerful moments that can come from this. And, and as you go through shadow work, you are going to be faced with this. You are going to be faced with this and you are going to be allowed to say, these are my feelings. I didn't like how I was treated. It was wrong. It was wrong and it was bad. And I don't like that. I do not want to be treated that way. That's where the power comes from. When you can take that power back, when you're suddenly not repressing that, You've been told, no, you have to repress that. You have to repress that. You cannot feel that. When you say, no, I'm not going to listen anymore. I'm going to feel my feelings. I'm going to feel my feelings and I'm going to honor myself. I'm going to honor my pain. And then I'm going to make changes. I'm going to make changes. And I am going to set boundaries and I am going to seize my life. I'm taking back what was stolen from me. So when you're dealing with the trauma shadows and the painful shadows and the repressed shadows, it is from usually an external force that has committed an injustice against you and then justified that injustice and made you wrong. Because if you were right, if you were justified in your feelings, you wouldn't have that shadow. So oftentimes what happens is when we're younger and we're, we're in a more vulnerable state, what ends up happening is something happens to us, something happens to us that is horrific that we don't like. And then when we act out, when we try to, you know, as children, we try to say, I don't like this. I hate this. Why is this happening? Why are you doing this? Stop. We get in trouble. We get in trouble by the authoritative figure who basically is saying, no, you're not allowed to feel. You're not allowed to feel. Your feelings are wrong. So that creates a painful moment. It creates a scar. And then that shadow is repressed because we've just been told that our feelings are wrong. So oftentimes when they are repressed shadows, it's usually they were repressed because something horrific happened. You will have memories come up and sometimes those memories are very painful. If there is any time where you feel that you cannot handle these memories or you cannot handle what's coming up, it's very advised to seek counseling and it's very advised to seek help from a qualified therapist who can help you because Sometimes what comes up will will break you. It will break you and it will hurt you. And you need an external trusted source to kind of help guide you through that. Um, so depending on the nature of the shadow, like a lot of shadows, you know, as they come up, you can work through them. You can help heal yourself from them. You can observe them. You can integrate them. You can take your power back from them. But if something comes up that is absolutely horrific, and like I'm talking about childhood abuse, like child... Their repressed childhood abuse. Sometimes when those memories come up, they trigger intense pain and they are shocking. They are incredibly shocking and they can actually offset the very nature of your existence here. So finding a, um, finding a qualified therapist or finding someone who could help you work through them or finding a trusted, um, a trusted, basically a trusted support network for you to handle this. Sometimes people awaken this and they only have their friends. They only have their friends. And if they have really good friends, you know, who can be there and who can help them, um, then, you know, that can help them. Then they can navigate that with those friends. As I've said in other videos, do not feel like you have to do shadow work alone. Never feel like you have to do shadow work alone because of the nature of the shadows and because of the nature of the energies you are exploring, they can be very isolating. They can be very isolating and you can feel removed from yourself and removed from love and your connections. So make sure you have 
that support network. Make sure you have somebody that you can reach out to. Make sure you have somebody that you can talk to through this and who you can help you understand these emotions. That is very important when it comes to shadow work, is making sure that you have that, especially with these shadows, trauma, pain, and repressed shadows. Because sometimes, especially with repressed shadows, they are going to bring up a lot. They're going to bring up, they are going to be painful and they are going to be shocking at times. So just to be prepared when you go into this. And don't judge yourself. Don't judge your feelings. Don't judge what comes up. Allow yourself to feel these emotions. Allow yourself to connect with them and allow yourself to heal from them. It's very powerful work. It is very powerful work. When you have a moment when you face a trauma shadow or a pain shadow or a press shadow, and you have that moment where you take your power back from it, where you feel that healing and the energy is just release, it is such a beautiful moment. You feel so strong and you feel so ready to just take the world. You are ready. You feel rejuvenated and replenished your soul feels nourished it's such a beautiful state it is so absolutely incredible and beautiful it is something that can change your entire life shadow work is profound those of us on dark spiritual paths we have to understand our shadows we have to know because when you're dealing with dark spiritual forces your shadows come up these energies get triggered you get pulled in this direction and understanding yourself, understanding the depth of who you are and understanding the shadows that are inside of you. It can help you. It can help you and it can empower you on this journey, it can empower you on this life and it can help you to take back your power from abusers and to put abusers in their place. People who try to abuse you, that doesn't stop just because you become an adult. People try to abuse people all the time. People are, can be awful. When you have connection to your darkness, when you know that it is not wrong for you to tell that person to stop, that's powerful. That is so powerful. It's so, so powerful. When you, when you know that you can say no. And if somebody pushes, you can be like, get out. Get out. I'm not taking this. That is strength. And that's what shadow work gives you. It allows you to integrate that darkness and it allows you to set those boundaries. It allows you to connect with yourself and it allows you to awaken your own inner warrior spirit. It allows you to set boundaries. It allows you to stand up for yourself and you feel that your emotions are valid and that is so important. That is such an incredible gift. To stand strong and to feel that your emotions are valid, it's a beautiful state. So yes, the trauma shadows, the pain shadows, and the repressed shadows, they are going to feel painful. There is going to be hurt from facing them. But once you get past that hurt, once you integrate that shadow, the empowerment and the healing that comes from it is absolutely incredible. It's like if you had a piece of glass that was under your skin and it healed over, but the glass was still there and it, was hurt. it hurt you. It constantly hurt you. So you go in with a knife and you try to get the glass out. And, once, and it hurts. It hurts to get the glass out. But once the glass is out, the real healing can begin. And the relief that comes from that is so amazing. So trauma shadows are anything where you felt traumatized or anything that traumatized you in your past that has been repressed. Pain shadows are shadows where you were hurt, you were um, wounded, and you were denied your emotions. You were denied... Um, being able to allow to feel your emotions, especially emotions around hurt, and um, or where your existence was invalidated and basically who you were was rejected. That those are painful shadows and repressed shadows are anything that you've repressed. Like if you had a really horrific experience as a child and you've repressed the memories, you've repressed um, the pain, you've repressed who you are, those are repressed shadows. So all of these shadows deal with elements where um, you were hurt, you were injured, and you were forced to repress that side of yourself. You were forced to shut that all away in your subconscious mind. So bringing them out is amazing and it's so healing. So those are some of the painful shadows that you can encounter when doing shadow work. And we will continue this series next week. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining us. I hope you enjoyed this video. And 
If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. I do read the comment section and occasionally do videos on the questions that I'm asked. So please let me know what you think. And if you love our content, please like and subscribe. It helps our channel and we just keep growing bigger and bigger and we love you guys so much. I hope you have an amazing and demonically inspired week. Until next time, guys. Bye!